Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Thanks for coming by today. I've got a CCNA quick quiz here for you on access control lists. So I'm going to bring the question up on the screen in about 10 seconds. And if you want to pause the video at that time to check out the answers, please do so. And even if you think you know the answer immediately, stick around because we've got a couple of minutes of lab work, including two very important verification commands that I want to show you when it comes to ACL. So let's get right to today's question. You have applied ACL to outgoing traffic on a serial interface. And then you apply ACL 110 to outgoing traffic on the same interface. What's the result? A. The ACL lines of the two ACLs are combined into a single ACL using the highest number of the two. B. The ACL lines of the two ACLs are combined into a single ACL using the lowest number of the two. C. Only ACL 110 will be applied. D, only ACL1 will be applied. So it sounds like the numbers might come into play there, high or low. We'll see how that works out. Before we get to that answer, I want to thank you for the phenomenal success of our courses on Udemy. We've got over 8,000 video boot camp students now. That's all of our free and paid courses combined. Check out udemy.com slash u slash Chris Bryant. That gives you the full list of courses I've got out there. And I've got quite a few free ones out there right now. I mean, really about 12, 15 hours of free video training right now. And of course, my famous CCNA video boot camp. We've got almost 2,000 students in there right now. So you definitely want to check that out. Let's head back up to the question and call up the router in a moment because what is going to happen here? Let me show you uh, one very important verification command, show IP access list. You can also run show access list if you want to. And it's going to show you our standard and extended list and that's what we have. And when you look at that, you're thinking, you might think, well, you know, does it matter that one is extended and one is standard? Well, not in this particular case because what's going to happen well let me show you instead of telling you that's a lot more fun this is the second command I want to show you it's show IP interface serial zero and even I don't use this one as often as I should because I just always run show interface and then put that uh, information after it and of course that gives you a lot of great info but this also gives you a lot of great info it's a little different to read because it's all straight down instead of all jumbled and you can see uh, we've joined a multicast reserved group 224.009. That address should be very familiar to you. And right here in the middle, you can see that your outgoing and inbound access list is not set. That means those haven't been applied. So let's do that because we definitely need to know how to do that. We've already seen those. So let's go out to serial zero. And the command is IP access group. And then you put your number. So we've got one and you have to define whether you are filtering inbound or outbound packets. You'll notice there's no CR there, so uh, that IP access group one command by itself would be incomplete. So let's run show IP interface serial zero, and you can see now outgoing access list is one, so that has been successfully applied. So now what happens if you forget you did that or someone comes in behind you, it's like, oh, okay, uh, what we meant to do is go to serial zero, and apply that access group 110 to outgoing traffic. Do you think anything's going to happen to the interface itself? I, that wasn't a question, but it would be a good thing to know. Well, there are no explosions or anything like that, and just the usual message there. And we've got 110, excuse me, IP access group 110 out, and we didn't get any kind of warning message. That's kind of unusual. So let's go ahead and run show IP interface serial zero again, and you can see what happens. The outgoing access list is now 110. What you did was overwrite the first list. When you apply a second list in the same direction, what's going to happen? That's going to overwrite the one that was already on there because you can put two ACLs on a physical interface, but one has to be filtering incoming traffic and the other one has to be filtering outgoing traffic. They can't both be going the same way or the last one you applied is going to be the one that takes effect. That sums up and wraps up today's ACL question, today's CCNA quick video quiz. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for coming by. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel while you're at here. And thanks for making TBA part of your CCNA success story.